Hi everyone, Olivia here again from Salvation Army um, Bankstown. So today we're doing Kids Church Online. Um, and what we're going to be doing is our week five of our Kids Church theme, Indescribable, Our Creator Has No Limits. And today our, our bottom line is God created you to share his story. And we're going to be doing a lot of fun things today. Some crafts, uh, we're going to be doing some games, and we're going to be listening to a great story um, from our friends at The Orange. Following on from our monthly life application, creativity. Imagining what you could do because you're made in God's image. So we're going to get straight into it now and we're going to start off with a game. Grab your kids packs from week four to five and we'll start soon. See you in a bit. Okay, so our first game today, you're going to be needing your different cards. So there's a whole bunch of cards here that we're going to um, sort out in a second, but I thought we'd play a quick 10 questions game first. And I'm going to get you to try and guess which one of these cards I'm talking about. So maybe lay out your cards on your table and I'm going to be describing one of these cards and see if you can guess what I'm talking about. Okay, so our first clue is that our item is about this big. Sometimes it can be smaller, sometimes it can be bigger. Do you think you know what it is? Our second clue is that sometimes you put this thing on a little dish. Okay, our third clue is that this thing comes in all different colours, but mainly the colour is white. Do you think you have it yet? Okay, our fourth clue is that this thing comes in different smells. And sometimes people are allergic to this thing. Sometimes they're not. Do you think you know what it is? Not quite, that's okay. Our sixth clue is that this thing makes the room very bright. I think some of you might know what it is. Not quite yet though, that's okay. Our seventh clue is that you might need a matchstick to, to turn this thing on. Oh, I know some of you have already got this, but we'll give two more clues. Our eighth, three more clues. Our eighth clue is that God uses this thing in a lot of his stories in the Bible. And we're actually going to be talking about it today. Our ninth clue, if you haven't already got it yet, when you light this thing, fire shines. And our tenth and final clue is that this thing shines light and also makes us warm. So I'm sure that most of you already guessed what this one is, but it's our candle. This is what we talked we, with our first game. It's our candle. And so I'm guessing that most of you got this one right. It was our candle. Great job, everyone, if you guessed it right. Okay. So we're going to be continuing with another game now where you will need to have your cards again in front of you. And feel free to colour these ones in too if you want to. I left them blank so that you could colour them in if you wanted to. So what you need to do is you need to sort these cards out into two different sections. One being light. So candles give off light. So I'm going to put my candle in a light pile. This can be your left or your right. What about lamp? That's pretty bright. I'm going to put it in the light pile. Okay. Flashlight. There's another light. We're going to put it here. Now our next one for our next pile is salt. So baked potatoes, they're pretty salty. So we're going to have a salt pile now. Salt in light. There are two piles. Oh, I put three. There are two piles. What about butter? Well, if I had to choose between light and salt, I think I'd put butter in our salt pile. Okay, so what I'm going to ask you to do is go through the rest of your pile and put them into the two sections and we'll come back and we'll read out what goes in each pile. Okay, so we've sorted out our two piles in front of us. Let's see what we got right. Okay, let's do salt first. So in our salt pile, there should be noodles. There should be potato chips. Potato chips are pretty salty. There is some popcorn. A pretzel. Butter, like we said before. 
and our baked potato. Awesome, did you guys get them all right? Let's move on to our light pile. We have a cell phone because they emit light, they show off light. We have a campfire. We have some Christmas lights. Christmas is coming up pretty fast, so I always hang up Christmas lights. We have our flashlight, a lamp, and finally our candle from our game before. Now I'm sure you all, you guys got these all right. If not, that's okay. You can play again. And so this is our salt and light game. I hope you had fun. And just like I said before, feel free to colour these in. You can even play it with mum and dad or brothers and sisters and get them to sort them out into piles. And you can even play 10 clues for 10 questions in that, in that other game. So that's that game. That's really fun. Now, we're going to do a bit of a craft right now and we're going to get into that in a second. So I'm just going to get all that ready. What you'll need for your um, craft game is your giant flashlight and some colouring utensils. So go grab your flashlight and your colouring utensils and we'll come back in a sec. Okay, we're back. It got a bit chilly, so I'm going to put a jumper on to make sure I'm nice and warm. So what we're going to do now, as I said before, with our flashlight activity, we're going to colour this in and then write some really great lines on our flashlight here. But the first thing we need to do is colour it in. So what you'll need to do, if you can, is find a yellow or a bright highlighter. And you'll just need to colour in this bit here in that colour. If you want to do it in blue or orange or pink, you can. But I'm going to do mine in yellow. And then I'm going to colour in the rest of my flashlight. So we're just going to do that now. I'm just going to colour in my flashlight. The reason we're doing this is because we're talking about the salt and the light of the earth. And later in our story, we'll hear more about that from our, I think, orange team. So we're just going to colour this in. I might do my flashlight red and blue. All right, so I'm just going to finish colouring this in and we'll come back. Okay, so we have our flashlight all finished now. Mine's all coloured in. I'm sure yours looks great too. So what we're going to do now is we're going to write our bottom line in our flashlight light so we can encourage those around us to be a light for Christ. And our bottom line again is God created you to share his story. And you can hang this up in the house or you can give it to a parent. But that's just a really fun way that we can remember to be a shining light for Jesus. So let's do that now. I'll say it a few times and I'll show you at the end. So feel free to pause it. Um, and the line is God. I'm going to write mine in black over the light. Created. You now remember not to write your writing too big, but you've got to fit it all in the um in the light to share his story. How awesome is that? So that's it again. God created you to share his story. I know that's backwards, but that's just because I'm showing you in the camera. But it is God created you to share his story. And feel free to do a little bit of decoration. Oh, whoopsie. Feel free to do a little bit of decoration um, around the flashlight. It would be great if you could share this with a friend or share it with your siblings and just put it up in the house. So that's our second craft for today. Or oh, sorry, our first craft, but third thing that we've done today. And what we're going to do now is we're actually going to do a little bit of a science experiment, um, which is really fun. So put your flashlights to the side um, and we'll just do the science experiment now. What you'll need for this experiment is your uh, little jar that I gave you. Or if you don't have a jar, that's okay. Just get a cup and you will need to fill it with some salt. So I'm just going to put that there. So I filled up my cup with some salt and what we're going to do is our science experiment. Salt, cup or jar and a popcorn kernel um, that I gave you as well. If you don't have a popcorn kernel, you can use a little rock um, or something similar as long as it's bigger than the salt. So we'll just start that now. Okay, so we have our jar or cup with our salt. It's important that our salt is at least halfway up the jar. It can be more, but it needs to be at least halfway for this experiment to work. 
So what we're going to do is we're going to get our popcorn kernel just here. We're going to put it in the middle-ish of our salt. I don't know if you can see that. And we're going to push it all the way down as far as we can. Push it down as far as we can. Okay. And I'm going to show you how to make that kernel go from all the way to the bottom, all the way up to the top in a really simple, fun way. So you've got your jar and you're going to put your hand on the top. And then you're going to give it five big swirls like this. One, two, three, four, five. And then you're going to put your hand over the top and you're going to come to the ground. You're not going to see me do this, but I'm going to trust you. And you're going to whack it on the ground four times. Not too hard that the, that the glass breaks, but hard enough that the kernel starts to rise. So I'm just going to do that now. And you'll start to see that maybe a little bit of dust forms at the top. And that's okay. That just means that it's working. And the salt is just spreading out a little bit. Now, if you find that your um, your kernel hasn't risen to the top, like mine hasn't, I accidentally got a little bit of salt on the ground, so try your best not to do that, is that you're going to put your hand over the top again and you're going to swirl it up. One, two, three. Oh, it's coming four. And look, here it is. I don't know if you can see. Oh, dear. I don't know if you can see that, but it has risen to the top. How exciting. Okay, and so that was our science experiment with our salt and our popcorn kernel. How fun was that, everyone? So what we're going to do now is we're going to watch our intro and our story for today. That's going to explain more about our salt and light and how we can be that for Jesus. And we'll learn more about our bottom line as well. So enjoy the story for today and I'll see you on the other side. give for a peanut. What's up everybody? It's me, Jacob, and today we're getting creative with light. Creativity is imagining what you could do because you were made in God's image. And God could tell you a thing or two about light. It was the first thing he created after all. Let there be light. Oh, no, too bright, too bright. Did you know that light can travel at 186 thousand miles per second. If you were in a spaceship, it would take you three days to get to the moon. Light can travel to the moon in about a second. Fly me to the moon. Let me burp it in the stars. And never... You can use light in all kinds of creative ways. Not only can you make shadow puppets. <laughs> you need light to take pictures and make videos. This won't do at all. This is terrible lighting. Lights! No, no, down, down with the lights. No, too bright. Thank you. You can use lights to make a concert more exciting. You can even use light to communicate. S-O-S, -S. need help. I'm out of Chocolate, sad emoji. I don't actually know Morse code. In today's story, we're going to learn about another use for light. In fact, we're going to learn how you and me can be the light. I can make a bee. I can make a bee. It's, you gotta get the wings. Uh, oh, okay. Bee. I'm a bee. Bzz, bzz, bzz. See you in a few. The Bible. It's 66 books of history, stories, letters, and poetry that fit together to form God's one big story. The epic adventure of how He created us and loves us so much that He made a way to rescue us. As we travel through the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, we discover people who met God and found their lives changed forever. Now, for an amazing story, inspired by the book of Matthew, chapter 5, verses 13 through 16. Keisha Jones tied the strings of a large white apron carefully behind her back. She glanced at awe at the gleaming silver countertops and appliances in the kitchen of a cupcakery where her brother Robert worked. 
This is amazing. Yeah, pretty great Maya's letting us use the mixer and stove. Pretty great, you're helping me. Keisha offered to bake cookies to raise funds for the new marching band uniforms. Even better, she convinced Robert to help her. He clipped the smudge recipe page over the counter. Brown butter and toffee chocolate chip cookies? Sounds weird. Trust me, they are the bomb. Robert worked evenings in a bakery for three years, so Keisha had to admit, he probably did know. She looked over the recipe. Two cups of flour, one teaspoon of baking soda, one teaspoon of salt? Actually, we're quadrupling the recipe, so that's four teaspoons of salt. Robert tossed Keisha a set of measuring spoons. Cookies are supposed to be sweet. Won't the salt ruin them? Nope. Salt actually brings out the flavors. What does that even mean? You want to test it out? Fine. I'll make a batch with salt. You make one without. You're on. The siblings work quickly as Robert showed Keisha how to mix dry ingredients and wet ingredients separately. What do we do now? Add the dry ingredients into the wet mix on low speed. Slowly, or you will make a flower storm all over this kitchen. I knew that. As Keisha worked, though she began to hear another sound over the mixer. Wow, rain's really coming down. Yeah, and this is such an old building that every time it storms, the power goes out. I can't see a thing. Robert fumbled with his phone until the flashlight came on. It always comes back on pretty fast. We can wait it out. Robert settled down on the floor, back against the cabinets. Keisha sighed and sat down too. She checked her phone. My battery's dying. Entertain me. What? You can't live without your phone? I don't know. Tell me a story. I was just thinking of one about salt. Really? One that Jesus told. Ooh, that one. Sermon on the Mount. Well, it fits. You know, the cookies. Fine. Read it to me, preacher man. It's in Matthew. I know that. Robert settled in with his Bible app. Jesus saw the crowds, so he went up on a mountainside and sat down. Then he began to teach. And pretty quick he gets into this part. You are the salt of the earth. That's it? Well, no. I mean, then Jesus talks about throwing out the salt if it loses its saltiness. How do you even know if you're salty? I think it's like the cookies. Salt makes things taste better. And people who follow Jesus can make life taste better. Mmm, like chocolate chip cookies. Robert punched her lightly in the shoulder. You know what I mean. When we share God's story, we bring hope to others. We help to fill their lives with kindness and joy and peace. All that good stuff. Okay, okay, I get it. Salt, good. There's something about light too, right? Yep. Jesus says, you are the light of the world. People do not light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand. Then it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine so others can see it. Then they will see the good things you do, and they will bring glory to your Father who is in heaven. Keisha shifted, trying to get comfortable on the hard floor. So when we follow Jesus. By showing God's love to others. When we do that, others can see God better and what to do. Like a bright light. Yikes! Robert leapt up to try to stop the mixer as the power came on. Keisha stood and stretched, blinking. Like a bright light. You planned that, huh? Of course. Well played. Hey, I'm gonna put salt in my batch of cookies after all. Well played. As Keisha measured the salt, she smiled. The cookies would've came out great, but she has some thinking to do about ways she can become salt and light herself. Jesus said that I am a light. He said that you are a light and we should let our light shine so others can see it. And when we shine our lights, it will help point people to God. So how do we shine our lights? Well, we can give someone a helping hand. 
Oh, 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 goodness. Oh. We can cheer someone on. You can listen when someone else needs to talk. That's my ear. Listening. Only you can shine your light the way you can. So get creative. All you have to do is treat others the way Jesus did. Love people, serve people, and treat people like they matter. Then you'll be giving people a glimpse of God's story. You'll show people how much God loves them and how much they matter to him. Here's the one thing to remember today. God created you to share his story. Tell people with your words what God has done or use your actions to point people to him. No matter what, let your light shine. I know I'll never forget that. I'll see you next time. Oh, it's too bright. It's too bright. Ugh. Bye. Ugh. Okay. We should shine our light so we can point others to God. How great is that? I love that. And I hope you enjoyed watching our story today and that you also enjoyed doing our crafts and our games. And you might be wondering, why am I wearing this hat? Well, I actually made this hat to go to my dad. Yes, that's right. Next week, it is Father's Day. And we're going to be making some really fun crafts for our dads, including this hat. As you can see, I've made it with some paint. And each one of you will be getting a hat to give to your dad to decorate next Sunday. So join us next Sunday at church in Bankstown and we'll see you then. Bye, everyone.